All right, and hey guys, Nick the Nutter Buster. Working on a several beer project. So, some of y'all may have seen my video climbing with squirrel steps. Uh, these little gems from over at Eastern Woods Outdoors. Uh, these are pretty much the perfect public link climbing method if you like to keep things lightweight and compact like I do. Uh, I had a couple of guys comment on the video that it was making a little bit of noise going up and down the tree. Now, I heard the noise because I was in the tree. Uh, Kylar1945 and D-Knots, the guys that I was climbing with, I think they mentioned in the video that it wasn't really making that much noise, but it was making noise. I agree with the people who said, ah, it's, it's making noise. It is making noise. Uh, so I was going to show you guys my solution that I've been using all of last season and really the season before that. I was putting on a mare steps last season. I, I was putting on squirrel steps. They are aluminum. So if you get a bunch of them on a ring of steps or something like that, they make noise. It's a pretty simple solution though. All right. All you need is vet wrap. You can wrap them up like that. Then they're camouflage. They don't really make noise. Uh, if you're bumping two of them together, they got the cloth vet wrap on them. They don't make any noise at all. Uh, the other thing, let's see if I can find the buckle that I haven't coated. That's a regular buckle, and you'll see that bar on some of them can kind of free freestyle and can make a little noise. The solution to that is just a little electrical tape on it. Quiets it right on up. Uh, so we're going to just kind of show you real quick. It's pretty intuitive, but I have I have had some requests. Uh, you know, how do you wrap them in back wrap? So I'm going to show you how I do them, and you can make of that what you will. It's important when you're working on hunting gear to stay hydrated. So, this is what I generally use. Um, I'm not sure if y'all gonna read that. Power Flex or something like that. You can get it at Tractor Supply. Uh, it's usually $8 for four rolls. I actually caught it on sale the other day and I got this brand new bag, $6 for four rolls. And then each roll, you take it out of the bag, it's gonna look like this, all right? What I do is cut them in half so I end up with two of these, okay? And this stuff is awesome. You can use it to wrap carabiners. You can use it to wrap flashlights, grunt calls, it, anything that makes metal noise. What I really like about it is you wrap it. It sticks to itself. It doesn't really have an adhesive that gets on your gear. And then when you get ready to take it off, when it gets dirty or it wears out or you just get ready to replace it, you just cut it off and it doesn't really leave a residue. Um, but yeah, all, all that you do basically, you take your step, once you've cut your roll in half, it not matter where you start, just wrap it. I stretch it as tight as it'll go, and I make sure to get several layers, because uh, this stuff is pretty thin. When you stretch it out, you'll see it's kind of see-through, so you want to build some thickness on there. And this stuff, too, when you get it from the tractor supply store, it's going to smell like the tractor supply. It's going to smell like horse feed. And, uh, dog food and all the other wonderful smells that you get at a tractor supply. Um, if you're hunting agricultural areas, deer might not mind it. Uh, I don't really like the smell, so I tend to try to make sure. I was really worried about it the first time, and then I found out it airs out in a couple of days, and it just kind of has, it, it smells a little bit like tape, but it's gonna smell like the stuff that you get at, a, at you know, Bass Pro or Academy, or, you can actually order this stuff straight from Eastern Woods Outdoors. If you like the one-stop shop thing, you can uh, you can get it straight from Dan. And his stuff is a little bit nicer. It's a little bit thicker, a little tougher. Um, and it comes in some cooler camouflage patterns. This is kind of army green, which is great for your early season. But, um, but yeah, I wrap a fair amount on there. I'm just going to cut it wrap what's left and these will start out they'll be a little bit tacky uh not bad but you know the stuff does want to stick to itself so they'll kind of want to stick a little bit to other steps but you can see you knock those together they don't they don't make any noise people say they sound like sleigh bells they say they make a lot of racket you can wrap that thing a hundred percent doesn't make any noise if you make noise with that you just ain't got no business on so next step is we're gonna go ahead, we got the buckle. Buckle's still making noise. 
So we're going to take the electrical tape. Well, you can also get a tractor supply if you don't have any. And if you don't have any, get some. Because you should have electrical tape. Alright. And I'm just going to wrap it 10 or 12 times right there where the buckle's hitting. Alright. Easy peasy. And then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut. You'll, you'll see. It's right there. I'm just going to cut. Alright. And then I'm just going to push that end up on the inside. So that it looks like that. And no, it's not going to last forever. You're probably going to have to replace it, you know, at least once a season. But it's cheap. Roll of electrical tape costs all the 50 cents. Another $6 if you catch it on sale. This will do a lot. I bought one last year to wrap my ring of steps. I've wrapped those twice, and I think I'm going to end up wrapping all of these Adamara steps with one pack of it. That's cheap enough. If that's going to break you, hunting ain't your game. So yeah, now we're quiet. You can see that doesn't really make any noise. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, so you've you I just wrap the strap slot up, and I just take my handy dandy kniffy, and I just cut just cut a slip. And you gotta be pretty and perfect. It's just gotta work. Take your strap, and then we've talked about this in another video, but I always make sure it hook side up. Okay. Step up. Slot that. And then with your bar on your buckle oriented like that towards your handle, you're gonna go over the top. And you're gonna go through the bottom. That's it. That's all there is to thread an OCB. So easy a caveman can do it. And now you've got you a completely quiet little scroll step. Do that eight to twelve times, depending on how many you bought. That's it. So I'm still working on some more videos on how to climb with them. That should get done. I should have the comparison video that shows my climb time versus uh, D-Knotts' climb time. Uh, that should be up this weekend. I'm very excited about that. Um, and, and I may, hmm, at some point I also may do a comparison. I may do it in the same video. I may do it separate. But I've always liked... Uh, Bobby Boswell's video of him climbing I think that that's one of the most professional polished looking climbs I've ever seen that's kind of everything I strive for when I climb is, is to just be as smooth and have a system like he does uh, so with him climbing with four of the Muddy Pro sticks he's getting eight steps up which is what I have here so you're comparing apples to apples I think that would be a good comparison because he shows the whole setup time, hanging his bow, everything like that. Um, and he gets up a tree pretty quick. I'm not saying I can beat him. I'm saying I can come pretty close and maybe help persuade some of the guys who are saying, oh man, there's no way I could climb faster with my sticks because I don't think anybody's climbing with sticks faster than Boswell's climbing in that video. And I think I can come pretty close to it. Uh, so we're going to do that. What else was it that we were going to do a video on? I think that's it. And then I think I'll do a video, um, this just me climbing, kind of showing the whole system in detail, how it fits in my pack, how I, you know, roll and unroll the steps and everything like that. Might try to get a GoPro put on chest mount so you can see a view of what it looks like as you're going up the tree. Because there is a learning curve to putting your steps on a tree and making sure that you get them tight, you know, in an efficient, speedy manner. But yeah, one thing at a time. That's it. That is how you silence your scroll steps, whether you're using them on a ring of steps or whether you're using them to climb with. So thank you for watching. As always, 
Stay tuned. If you like videos on hunting stuff, then be sure to keep an eye on the channel. Subscribe. Give it a like. Let me know you like the video. Uh, stroke my inflated ego. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.